part of the purpose of college is to help students get real-world experiences before they enter the workforce. Tyler Melito joins us in studio with a look at a unique program at UK that's giving students a chance to learn more about the hospitality business. Think back to when you were in college. For many college kids, graduation requirements might have included writing a long research paper or a very arduous project. But for a group of students in the Department of Dietetics and Human Nutrition at UK, their requirement is a little more hands-on and a heck of a lot more delicious. For years, the Lemon Tree Restaurant at the University of Kentucky has been serving up quality meals to customers. But it's also a classroom experience most college students never get. It truly is a student driven restaurant. They are the ones delivering this from every single step along the way, whether that is, you know, the service itself or even our dishwashers in the back of the house. You know, they're making sure that we're able to do this in a manner that really upholds the standards and the expectations that our clients expect or our guests in the dining room expect. Throughout the course of the semester, students have the chance to get hands on experience in every role in the restaurant. For many, it's an eye opening experience. I think the dishes for sure gives you more appreciation. How much work goes into just going out to eat? Because when you're the customer, you think, oh, I'm gonna go get this. You know what cooking's like at home, but when you have to think of such a large production of food for so many people, you're like, oh wow, it takes a lot more time than you would have thought. In the kitchen, students learn from university chef in residence, Bob Perry, whose 25 years of experience help make sure things don't go up in flames. Chef Bob's great. He's very patient with us because like I said, a lot of us haven't really cooked before especially for this many people. So having him always around and having his different experiences, because he has a long list of diverse ones, I think really helps. And in the classroom, lecturer Emily DeWitt, who took the class herself while at UK, hopes to challenge the next generation of bright minds. I always tell them they have to work together to figure it out first. I'm certainly there to provide guidance, but my goal is to really help encourage them and challenge them to do this as if I'm not there. So they always have to figure it out with one another. And then if they get stuck, then they have to problem solve, and that's when they can turn to me. When the dust settles after each class and after every dish is cleaned, students say the feeling of accomplishment is like no other. I think getting to see the final product of when we actually get to serve it in there and having the customers have their pretty plates, and it's like, oh wow, a bunch of seniors in college made all this. It looks really good. <laughs> And it tasted pretty good, too, from what the customers were telling me. The restaurant only serves, though, roughly 40 people a class, and they only have class twice a week. Reservations are hard to come by, but if you're interested in learning more and getting in the door, just head to this story on fox56news.com later on this morning.